the most famous name in the history of the FA Cup, adorns the Britannia Stadium. Different times now from Stanley Matthews Day. His old club now owned by an Icelandic consortium and the smiles on the faces of Stoke City supporters in the ground are mirrored in Icelandic homes watching live on television. In part because of injury, only one of their countrymen makes the starting lineup. He's the manager's son, Bjarni Gudjonsson, once of Newcastle United, arriving here from Genk in Belgium. He's joined in the lineup by a Belarusian, Staniuk, who's the captain, two Irishmen, two Scotsmen, a Belgian, and four Englishmen. The one change from the team which went to the top of the second division on New Year's Day is that David Rousen, numerically, comes in for Andy Cook. In adversity of five consecutive defeats, Walter Smith looks to experience and hope that those individuals will remember other days. Paul Gascoigne is in the starting lineup. Jesper Blomqvist will play on the right with Gary Naismith, the Scottish international, on the left. And up front, Duncan Ferguson is partnered by Joe Max Moore. A capacity crowd here at the Britannia Stadium. And Everton supporters, as ever, in spite of the problems of their club, ready to make themselves heard. Top of the second division against 13th in the Premiership. They're only four points off the drop zone. I'll put another way. A side losing 6.4 million a year against a side 30 million pounds in the red. Everton in the latter category. And here's one who knows what it's like to win the FA Cup, David Unsworth. Not the best two at the start. Bill kindly for him. And Duncan Ferguson also in the 95 winning side. Duncan Ferguson, in fact, has both winners and losers medals. The losers with Newcastle. Well spread by James O'Connor. That's a useful ball too. Eveluma waiting for the cross, which doesn't come. of inches O'Connor started might have finished Connor beautiful ball in this is Rousen Johnson Van Dersen against Unsworth you can please the uh, Everton supporters behind the goal defended by Steve Simonson Johnson to take, hit with pace, Yobalumo! More. Hunsworth steaming down the left, Naismith doing well. This is Ferguson, hit the foot of the post. Got a deflection. Good play by Naismith. Naismith with the corner. Ball out of play. And he scored three times this season, Duncan Ferguson. And they've all come from the penalty spot. from Jesper Blomqvist. Stoke City have had more of the play, but the two nearest occasions we've come to a goal have been at the Stoke City end. Good 
Johnson. Nelson outside, that's a good cross. And a good opportunity that good fellow got wrong. Best cross of the match. Anderson waited too long, really. But Johnson was the most disappointed. He was the player making the run on the near post. Oh, he won it cleanly, did Thomas, but he directed it poorly. Goalkeeper's now coming for the ball, and he's got to regain his position. And the free kick is right on the edge of the uh, D on the 18-yard line. And I don't know how aware the culprit was as to what had happened. Hmm. Partly one. But at least it enabled the goalkeeper to get back into his position. Ball was a bit late from Ferguson. Is Ainsworth going to have a crack at it? Uh, he's just with the tee up roll. And it's deflected. And it's in. Alan Stubbs puts Everton in front. Stubbs. Well, it wasn't that far away from the goalkeeper's hand. How much of a view he got of it in time is questionable. It's Gascoigne. Which there was uh, very doubtful all week with injury. Gascoigne! Got a foot to it, the Cutler, Bloomquist, took his time, blocked by Thomas. Good challenge by Clark. And then Savia. But it almost came right for Gascoigne. Bluechrist, chance to finish it all. Side netting. Just perhaps played it slightly further ahead of himself than he meant to. Too challenged. Johnson. Plenty forward here for Stoke City. Time to find a decent cross. Nobody took control. Cross was too good for everyone. Good Johnson's cross. Again, Xavier Lundqvist to his right, Portuguese fancies chance, does he? Leaves it for the Swede who scores, no he doesn't, curl away at the last minute. He can't believe he hasn't scored and I must say it surprised me too. Xavier fooled them into thinking he was going to shoot and a little flick here, looks as though it's going to go in but it curls away instead. The end arrives, and Alan Stubbs' second goal only of the season proves decisive from a free kick 
partly won and unnecessarily given away. Stoke City by no means disgraced here. They had some nice approach play, but it lacked the cutting edge and at times it lacked a little bit of pace. And Everton was certainly the better side in the second period. Stoke City nil, Everton of the Premiership one.